your ability to compete, to pick yourself up off the bat one more time, to go for it one more time, that's going to determine success or failure. You know, we've got a divorce rate in America some 50% right now. You, you know, it just seems like that people that go in business today, they have an attitude, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick my toe in it. If I start making all this money, get all these promotions, then I'll, I'll see this thing through. Well, folks, that's not the way it works. The first step to winning in business in America today is you've got to make a total commitment. Total commitment gives you that little extra ounce of courage. You need to fight back through the tough times. Winning in business demands the same kind of commitment that winning in marriage demands. You know, I fell in love with my wife in the second grade. Only girlfriend I ever had. We ran off and got married our freshman year. Had both of our children before we, we left college. We're true business partners in marriage. We go everywhere together. I spend more time with her. Been married to her 26 years. Now I got two grandbabies. Love her more today than I ever have. But I don't like her all the time. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of times every day that I don't like her. You, you, you know, uh, I, I'm a nut about brushing my teeth. You know, if I can get the toothbrush, I'll brush my teeth. Uh, three or four, five, six times um, a day. And, and Angela's always forgetting everything, you know? And she always leaves the cap off the toothpaste, you know? And when I go in there to brush my teeth, the cap's off. It's got that hard little crust around the edge. You know, that just burns me more than I can tell you, you know? And, and, I, and I, get on, uh, I get on Angela's nerves about a lot of things. You know, we were having uh, dinner last week, and every time we get through, Angela kicks me under the table, you know, and gets me back in my room and says, Arn, you, you ain't got no class. You, you know, I wish... Uh, I wish... Uh, I wish, Art, you could learn to eat with your mouth closed, you know? <laughs> but see, folks, if you want to win in business, everything's not going to work out like you want it to, but you've got to be committed. I want to have great kids. I want to have a wonderful relationship. I want to have tremendous uh, grandbabies. Another key in building this winning edge in business is you've got to learn to treat people good. Another thing that, that these universities pollute America corporations with is this attitude you better not get to know your employees you better not become friends or, or, or get to get to know the spouse or the children of your employees because you might have to fire them you might have to reassign them and if you're close friends you can't really you can't manage people in a tough-minded way bull folks the only way to manage people and get the most out of people is treat them good Learn to love them and care about them. Yes, it hurts from time to time, but it's the only way. You know, everybody you work with in business, you've got to look at them and pretend there's a, there's a flashing sign on their chest. And everybody's asking you, make me feel special. Make me feel important. Say something good to me. I want to be somebody. Another key of winning in business in America today is, folks, you've got to establish the right kind of priorities. first company I went with 15 years ago was ITT. When I was out there struggling, dying every day, wanting to quit and go back in coaching a thousand times, my first heroes in this business were vice presidents at ITT making forty or fifty thousand dollars a year. And I said, man, if I could ever get to be that kind of person, it'd be a dream come true. I couldn't want any more out of life. A few years later, I earned the right to get promotions to that level and found so many of my heroes in business, their personal lives were a disaster. They were alcoholics and divorced three and four and five times. I just read an article by the author of, of In Search of Excellence, and I saw where he says, I can't find evidence of any successful business person in America that's not tunnel vision, that just doesn't give everything to business. Folks, I, I, I said back then, 15 years ago, that if that's the price you've got to pay to win in business, it's not worth it. Fifteen years later, a multimillionaire. Folks, I can stand and preach to you that you can't separate your personal life from your business life. God's got to come first. Your family's got to come second. And business has got to come third. And I believe if you have a lousy spiritual life and a lousy personal life, long range, it's going to be devastating to your business. Another thing in building this, this winning attitude. Another, another thing in building this winning attitude in business. I, you, you know, I see tall people make it big in business and short people, dumb people and smart people, fat people and skinny people. But if you cut open the winners in business, I see a heart of a champion. And all these people are competitors and they don't quit. 
I believe desire and will to win is everything. I don't know why I'm like I am, but my butt's always burning. There's always something to say, Art, Dad, Gummit, you're supposed to go for it. Art, Dad, Gummit, you're supposed to be somebody. You're supposed to make a difference with your life. What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. You look at the outside and study those two individuals, everything seems to be the same. They both are the same sex, they both are the same age, they have the same training, the same positions, the same contract, the same fringe benefits. They both are successful, they work hard, they're good family people, make tough commitments. But what's the difference? What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. He pays the price and a little bit more. He works hard and a little bit more. He's loyal to the company and a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money and a little bit more. He saves money and a little bit more. If you want to win in these United States, you've got to be tough and you can't quit. The last thing I'll talk to you about today in building this winning edge is, folks, if you want to win in business, you've got to be a leader. Leadership is everything. You show me anything in these United States that win, I'll show you a leader at work. You show me a successful church, Boy Scout troop, club, football team, business, I'll show you something uh, run by a leader. See, see, I, I thought at one time in my life you had to be smart to win. I used to have these smart people that dress so pretty and talk so pretty and use these big words. They just intimidated me. And I said, Arch, you can't ever be that good. Why don't you just throw in the towel and go on back and coach football for a living? And I found two things out about smart people. I think it's almost impossible for a smart person to win in business in America today. Because I find smart people spend their whole lifetime figuring things out. They're always trying to figure out an easier way and a quicker way. And another thing I found out about smart people is they just don't get around to doing nothing. And see, somebody like Art Williams, everybody says, well, he can't do it. And somebody like that can't do it, but he does it. See, folks, I want you to know almost everybody in America almost does enough to win. They almost get there. They almost are over the hump. They almost have it going. They almost, in everything they do, almost is a way of life to almost everybody in America. But the winners do it. What do they do? They do whatever it takes to get the job done. They do it and do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. And then they talk about how great it is to be somebody they're proud of. We need leaders in America who can do it. If you want to become somebody, do it. If you want to go in business for yourself, do it. If you want to become financially independent, do it. I hear too much talk in these United States. Everybody can talk a good game. We need people in America who can do it. I go all over this country with A.O. Williams, and I have people say, Art, you, you can count on me. Wonderful. Just do it. All right, I guarantee you this is my last stop. I'm going to win now. Super duper. Just do it. All right, if I could just have one good month and get the ball going, I know I could make it big. Super. Just do it. All right, if I could just pay off this debt, I could really go. Great. Just do it. All right, if I could just sell my house. Do it. Uh, but houses ain't selling. Do it anyway. Uh, Art, I'm not making any money. What can I do? Y you just do it. Hey, do what, Art? You do it and do it and do it. Uh, Art, I guarantee I'm going to win this contest. Super duper. Just do it. Uh, Art, I'm over the hump now. Watch my smoke. Great. Just do it. Uh, Art, I want to make it so bad I can taste it. What I do? Y you just do it. Uh, Art, I'm a vice president now. Can I quit doing it? No. A heart. I don't know if I can keep on keeping on. I'm really hurting what I do. You just do it. Do what, Art? You do it and do it and do it. Art, all my life I've wanted to be somebody important. Well, what do it then? Art, I'm going to save money so I don't have to go through this again. Great. Just do it. Art, I don't feel like I've had enough training. What I do? You just do it. Art, my manager don't give me no help. What I do? You just do it. Oh, Arch, you don't understand. I was Mr. Everything at my former company. You don't mean I, I have to start off down at the bottom and do it, do you? Yep, you really got to do it. <laughs> Art, Art, what's the primary difference between winners and losers? The, win the winners do it. They do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done.
And then they talk about how great it is to finally have achieved something you need. And how glad they are that they didn't quit like everybody else. And how wonderful it is to finally be somebody they're proud of and make a difference with their life. Thank you.